Hi, I am Taufik and today I am going to show you how to build a directory website under 45 minutes. The type of website we are going to build today is a directory website. The site will be based on a popular software program called WordPress, which is currently running millions of websites around the world. People use WordPress to run their site because number one, it's easy to use, you don't need any programming language. Number two, it's free for anyone to use. And number three, it's super easy to set up as you are about to see. You can build any type of website you want. As for this tutorial, we will be building a directory like this with a variety of listings and different categories. Now, let me explain you something real quick. This video is going to show you how to build a directory website running under 45 minutes. And yes, it can be done. If this is your first time building a website, it might take you longer than 45 minutes to get your site running. But with this step-by-step -step tutorial, I am sure you will be able to get it done pretty quickly. Does that make sense? Alright, let's get back to the video. Step 1 is to register your domain name. The first thing you need to do in order to build a website is to register a domain name. I personally use GoDaddy for my domain name purchasing. They are the biggest domain name registrars in the world and they offer great prices and solid customer support to ever need. So this is GoDaddy and it will look something like this. But don't worry if it looks something different for you as they often change graphics of the page around. But the main function is always the same. You are going to see a box where you can search your desired domain name. So you enter a domain name in the box and choose if you want to be a .com or .net or whatever. Then press search domain button. Next, it will tell you does your domain name is available or not. Now, if the domain name you want is available, you can select it and click the button continue to cart. Now, if the domain name you want is already taken by someone else, GoDaddy will suggest some alternative domain name or you can just pick something else. Once you found something you are happy with, click the select button, put it in your shopping cart and click continue to cart. Next, you will see a series of screen they will ask you to add any optional access like what will you do with your domain name, uh, we have added privacy here kind of thing for selecting plan for privacy related you can create an email address that matches your domain etc you can go through everything and select no or if you want any option you can choose any options and scroll down and then continue with these options or without these options and then continue to the checkout process. Next, you will see a piece of screen they will ask you to add any optional access and you can choose how many years you want to register your domain for. And then continue to the checkout process. The next switch will ask you to register a GoDaddy account. Then, enter a username, password and 4 digit pin number and make sure you write this down and keep it somewhere safe. So just check all your details are correct. Now once you are finished, continue to the payment. Now here you can choose to pay with your credit or debit card, gift card if you have one. Choose which payment method you prefer to use and follow the on-screen instruction as you purchase your domain name. Congratulations, you are the owner of your very own domain. You will receive confirmation within few minutes of your purchase. Now step 2. Setting up your web host account. Now you have your domain, the next step is to set up your host account. Every website needs to be connected to the internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week so the people all around the world can see it. And in order to do that, you need a web host. I personally use and recommend Bluehost as the best company to host the site. They are one of the biggest hosts around and they have received many awards for their top notch services and having great support staff available around the clock. Once you go to the new host, you'll see a page like this. Click on the hosting button, select WordPress hosting. Now, if you are just starting out and you are only planning to build a single directory site, then all you need is the smallest plan which is a standard hosting. If you plan to build more websites, then you may want to look at bigger plans or a reseller account if you are looking to build multiple sites. Most of us would just start with a standard plan. So click on the buy now button under the standard plan you'll have a pop-up asking for the domain name. As we already registered domain, click on the yes button. Then you need to enter your domain name. So just type that in and click on continue. In this step, you would, it would show you the product in your cart. If there is anything in the cart other than hosting, you can remove it by clicking on the cross mark on the right. You can choose how long you would like to pay for hosting. 
You can pay one year, two year, three year. You can pay more than in advance and take the advantage of even more savings. It makes no difference which payment options you choose, so it's all up to you. Now click on proceed to pay button. The next page will ask you to register a Bluehost account. So click on green button with name create an account in 10 seconds. Here you need to fill all the required details in order to register. Once you are done, just check all your details are correct and of course remember to write it down and keep it somewhere safe and click on a create account button. Now we'll be having payment option, select preferred payment method and click on pay now button. Then you just need to fill all your billing information and follow the on screen instructions to complete your purchase and you'll get an email from Bluehost with all your setup information. Step 3 is to connecting your domain with your web hosting account. And don't be scared of technical jargon, it's really very easy to do. As I'm going to show you how to do it step by step right now. First, log into Godaddy using the username and password you made in step 1. Next to domains, click manage. Select the domain name, click settings and select manage DNS. On this screen, you'll see a section named servers. Under that, click change. Under choose your new name server type, select custom. Next, you need to open up the welcome email you received from Bluehost. Scan the Bluehost email until the section that tells you what your webhost account name server are. This is gonna be two name servers, NS1 and NS2, which stands for name server 1 and name server 2. Now you just need to copy and paste each name server from Bluehost email into GoDaddy set name server page. Make sure that there are no extra spaces at the beginning or at the end of the name server or they might not work. So copy and paste them over or carefully type it in. It should look like the one in the video. Your name servers would be slightly different from mine, so don't worry. Once you entered in both name servers and click save. That's it. Your domain is now connected to your web host account. Now, let me explain you something about this process. The domain could sometimes take a few hours to make over to the new name server. It could sometimes happen instantly and sometimes it takes 24 hours. You might have to wait for a few hours before you go on this next step. But just check your domain and if you found something which is related to Bluehost, then you are good to go. Step 4. How to install WordPress on your website. So. Now you have your domain name and web host all set up and ready to go. Next, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress. WordPress is a free platform that is commonly used by bloggers and site owners from many years. It basically allows you to build a website without needing any coding or design to go. Bluehost makes it very easy to install WordPress. So now I'm going to take you to the installation process. First, you need to log into your website control panel. You can do this by opening up your browser window and then type in your domain name in the address bar with the forward slash and the word C panel. So it's gonna look something like this www.yourdomainname.com slash C panel. Now obviously you'll replace the word yourdomainname.com with your domain name. Now you'll have a screen that's asked for a username and password which you can find in the Bluehost email. So enter those and you'll be taken to your control panel which will look something like this. Now there are lots of things you can do in your control panel. You can set up email account, check your site visitor statistics, upload files and a range of other things. But for this tutorial we just focus on setting up WordPress. So scroll down until you see software section and select software Killers apps installer. Click on WordPress image. and then click the install now button. Now you just need to fill in few details for your site. Choose the domain name to install it to in the field text to domain you can enter a subfolder or you can leave it if necessary you can edit the email address username and password for the new wordpress installation. They can be anything you like but remember again write them down and keep it somewhere safe Then click on the install button. 
will then see a confirmation page. So just read the finished installation and that's it, you are done. You can now visit your domain and you will see a standard WordPress install on it. Congratulations, you now have a basic website running. See, it really wasn't that hard, is it? Next I'll show you about directory theme, where to get it, how to purchase it, how to configure, customize it and use it. Step 5 is to choose directory theme. I personally recommend templatic directory themes as they have about 24 niche directory themes ready to use. Best part, based on your preferred niche, you will be able to find a ready-made theme developed specially for your niche. That will save you time, energy and money that you might have to pay later to developers for customization. Now let's purchase directory theme. So this is templatic.com and it will look something like this. But don't worry if it looks something different as they often change graphics of the page around. But the main function is always the same. So from the top menu click on themes. Here you will get all the premium themes from templatic. Under theme section click on directory. Now you will have all the directory themes for the different niches. You can explore all the themes and select any theme which suits your niche but for this tutorial we will select listings theme. Once you found something you happy with, hover over the themes image and click on view details. Here we have all the specification of listings themes. Click on get it now button in order to purchase the theme. Now if you are just starting out and you are only planning to build a single directory site then all you need is a standard license. If you plan to build more directory websites then you may want to look at a developer license or club membership if you are going to use a theme on multiple domains. Most of you would just start with a standard license. So click on the add to cart button under the standard license. You will have a pop up showing you the product in your cart and select your preferred payment method. You can make the payment with paypal or make payment with your credit card or debit card. It makes no difference which payment options you choose. So it's up to you. For this tutorial, we will use the card payment and click on the secure checkout button. Now you'll have to create a quick account by entering all the details. Now here it will ask you for the billing information. Follow the on-screen instruction to complete your purchase. Once you successfully completed this purchase, you'll get an email from Templatic with all your account information. In order to get access to your purchase theme, you need to log in to the Templatic members area. Go to templatic.com and click on my account from the menu. Next, you need to open up the welcome email you received from Templatic. Scan the Templatic email until the section that tells about your account information. Log in using the username and password as in the email from Templatic. Once you log in, here's the dashboard. Click on my download tab. You have all the products listed here purchased from this vendor. Now go to my theme section and click on download button next to theme. Now on the download easy install section, click on download button in order to download the theme. Step 6. Theme installation and configuring your directory website. So now you have your domain name, web hosting and the theme. All set, ready to go. Now I am going to show you how to install the theme and configure your directory website. To log in to the admin side of your website, you will need to add forward slash wp-admin to the end of your domain name just like this. You will see a login page for you to enter username and password that you created while installing WordPress. Now once you log in, you will see a dashboard. This is where you can manage your website from. It is good to familiarize with this interface as you are going to see this a lot when managing your website. On the left hand side, you can see a lot of sub menus. For now, we just focus on setting up directory theme. If you click on the appearance, then themes, it will take you to the themes section. From here, you can add new themes and see all your existing themes. If to add directory theme you have purchased, click on add new button at the top left. Now click on upload theme button. Choose the zip file of the theme we have downloaded earlier and click on install now button. Once you click on the install now button, the zip will begin to upload and the installation will take place. Once it is done, click activate button to activate the theme. Now a pop-up will appear and it will ask you for the license key. You can enter license key in the pop-up or you can enter the key here as well. 
To get the license key, go to templating.com, click on my account, then my downloads tab, go to your particular theme for this tutorial listings and here's the license key. Now you just need to copy and paste it here. Make sure that there are no extra spaces at the beginning or at the end of the key or they might not work. So copy paste it over or carefully type it in and click verify button. Theme will get activated and now you need to install the sample data. Simply click on install sample data and it will add sample content to the site. Once it is completed, visit the front end from here and you will found your directory site running. If any time you wish to make any changes to your website, go to your backend, appearance, customize. You will find numerous options in order to make changes in your site. You can change logo of your site, you can change color of your site and many other tricks. Let me give you an example of how to do that. Let's change the logo. Go to site logo, select image, upload the file, select the logo and click on choose image and you will see the change logo in the live preview. In the same way, you can make other changes on your website. Like you can change the color scheme of your site, you can change the background of your site with an image and many other visual changes can be done from here. There are many other useful features for a directory site. You can change custom fields for your here, add additional post types, you can easily create price packages and choose different payment options from one vibration, easily keep track of all the transactions, manage location services, manage emails and notifications, manage permalinks, etc. There are lots of features available with this theme which you can learn from the theme's sales page. Everything in WordPress is self-explanatory and it has been designed to be used easily. You will find tons of documents about everything you want to do with this site. I encourage you to play around to get familiar with how the everything works. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you will be able to follow this video and get your website up and running. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please contact from the link below and I'll do my best to answer.